there are three bags containing three colored balls red green and yellow right so there are three different bags three different types of balls red balls green balls and yellow balls the bag one contains 15 red balls y yellow balls and g green balls probability of drawing one yellow ball is 2 by 9 the ratio of number of green and yellow balls is 9 is to 4 so that's the data pertaining to bag one then similarly it says bag two contains you know the number of green balls which is two third of g now what is this two third of g here g here is the number of green balls you see bag one it was given that there are g green balls so bag two has two third of g green balls yeah total number of balls in bag is five six of the balls in bag a total number of balls in this bag is five six of the balls in bag a and number of balls uh, yellow balls is three greater than the number of red balls so that's the data pertaining to bag two i think one point which i would like to uh, you know highlight here is that there are some uh, confusing uh, variables used like for example here he talks about bag a yeah but bag a is not been given right he is actually referring to it as bag one bag two and bag three so so i guess we should take it for granted that bag a is bag one you know bag a here represents bag one looks like there's an error in the question similarly bag b is the bag two right and bag c wherever it is given should be considered to be the bag three yeah Anyway, so the data about bag 2 is given. Then bag 3, it says number of red balls is one third of total number of red balls in bags A and B. So here bag A refers to bag 1 and bag B refers to bag 2. So number of red balls is one third of total number of red balls of bags A and B. Number of yellow balls is 20% more than the number of yellow balls in bag B. And the probability of drawing one green ball here is 7 by 16. So based on this data, we have to first figure out the number of red, yellow and green balls in each of these bags. And once you are you know done with that part answering the questions would become really easy i mean this would usually be a three or five marks question so one of those three or five questions is given here like one ball from each bag is drawn find the probability that these are yellow balls so for us to be able to solve this we should do the number of yellow balls and total number of balls in each of the bags so i think the first step is to find out the contents of each of the bags contents of each of the bags so so let's do that i think bag one bag one what do you see See, in bag one, he says there are 15 red balls, uh, Y yellow balls and G green balls. I, I guess we can just make a table, right? Uh, red, yellow and green. Yeah. For each of the bags. So bag one, uh, you know, bag two and bag three. All right. Red, yellow and green. So this, this table has to be filled before we proceed with the solution so the bag one has got what 15 red balls straight then he says y yellow balls and g green balls probability of drawing one yellow ball is 2 by 9 the ratio of number of green and yellow balls is 9 is to 4 see the ratio of number of green and yellow balls is 9 is to 4 which means g is to y is equal to 9 is to 4 so what does it mean 9x and 4x the number of green balls are 9x number of yellow balls are 4x yeah 9x and 4x so green balls is like uh, 9x yellow balls is 4x now you have to use the other statement given in this data here that the probability of drawing one yellow ball is 2 by 9. See what is the probability of drawing a yellow ball one yellow ball from 4x yellow balls we have to choose one. So 4x c1 which is 4x divide by from total number of balls we have to choose one ball. So what is the total number of balls 15 plus 4x plus 9x 15 plus 4x plus 9x which is equal to 2 by 9. You're getting it probability of drawing one yellow ball so out of total number of yellow balls you need to choose one which is like 4x c1 equal to 4x and from total number of balls you have to choose one ball so 15 plus 4x plus 9x c1 which is again 15 plus 4x plus 9x equals to 2 by 9 simplify this you'll get the value of x once you get the value of x you'll know the number of yellow balls and green balls so so simplify this what do we get i think uh, 4x plus 9x is 13x 13x times 2 is 26x 4x into 9 is 36x so 36x minus 26x is 10x 10x equals to 2 into 15 30 which implies x is 3 so if x is 3 what will be the number of yellow balls 4 into 3 12 and number of green balls 9 into 3 27 so done with respect to first bag we know all the three values 15 12 and 27 15 red balls 12 yellow balls and 27 green balls yeah now what is the total 15 plus 12 27 plus 27 54 so total number of balls in bag one is 54 yeah now do it for bag two so number of green balls is two third of g See, number of green balls is two third of g, two third of twenty-seven. You understand? Two third of twenty-seven. 
27. What is two third of 27? 18. So number of green balls is known to us. Total number of balls in this bag is 5 6 of the balls in bag A. So total number of balls in bag 2 is 5 6 of 54. Bag A is bag 1, right? 5 6 of 54. What is 5 6 of 54? 9 times 5, 45. So basically total number of balls in bag 2 is 45. Yes or no? 5 6 of the previous bag. So 5 6 of 54 is 45. Number of yellow balls is 3 greater than the number of red balls. See, understand, out of 45, 18 are red, 18 are green. Total should be 45, of which 18 are green. So what is remaining? 45 minus 18, which is 27. So can you say red plus yellow is 27? With respect to bat 2, we can say red plus yellow equals to 27. Because 45 minus 18 gives you 27. So number of red balls plus number of yellow balls is 27. We also know that number of yellow balls is 3 greater than number of red balls. Number of yellow balls is 3 greater than yellow balls. So yellow equals to R plus 3. Now from these two data points, from these two equations, can you not find out the number of red and yellow balls? Very easily. Do that. And I think you should be able to do that mentally. You don't have to put pen on paper for that. Red plus yellow comes out to be 27. Yellow is 3 more than red. So yellow is red plus 3. Or substitute directly, red plus 3. This is red plus red. So red plus red plus 3. 2 red plus 3 is 27. 2 red is 24. Red is 12. Red is 12. Yellow is 15. So red comes out to be 12. Yellow comes out to be 15. You see? 12 plus 15, 27. And 15 is 3 more than 12. So number of balls here are 12, 15 and 18 respectively. Now move to the back 3, the third bag. Yeah, third bag here. Uh, number of red balls is one third of total number of red balls in A and B. So number of red balls is one third of total of A and B. What is total of A and B? 15 plus 12, 27, right? 15 plus 12, 27, total of A and B. And number of red balls in this bag is one third of 27. One third of 27. One third of 27. How much is that? 9. So I can say number of red balls in the third bag is 9. Next point, number of yellow balls is 20% more than the number of yellow balls in bag B. So yellow balls here is 20% more than yellow balls in B. So 15 plus 20%. 20% 20 of what? 15 of course. 15 plus 20% of 15. 20% of 15 is 3. So 15 plus 3, 18. Number of yellow balls is 18. And number of green balls. Probability of drawing one green ball is 7 by 16. So let's assume the number of green balls is G. Of course, this is a different G, not the same G that was given here. Number of this thing is G. So he says the probability of drawing one green ball is 7 by 16. How do you find out the probability of drawing one green ball? See, there are G green balls. You have to choose one. In how many ways can you do that? G ways. Divide by total number of balls, 9 plus 18 plus G. 9 plus 18 plus G. You understand? So G by 9 plus 18 plus G equals to the probability given here is 7 by 16. Simplify this to get the value of G. You understand? GC1 is equal to G, choosing one green ball out of total green balls. Then 9 plus 18 plus G, C1. That also is 9 plus 18 plus G. Choosing one ball out of total number of balls. Equals to 7 by 16. Now simplify this 16G minus 7G. 16G minus 7G is uh, 9G, right? And this is 27 into 7. So I think 9G is 27 into 7. So this gets cancelled 3 times here. 3 times 7 is 21. So number of green balls in the third bag is 21. 21. Done. So I think we've got all the values now. Yeah. 15, 12, 27, 12, 15, 18, 9, 18, 21. And what is the total number of balls by the way in bag 3? 9 plus 18, 27, 20 plus 7 plus 21, 48. 48. Yeah. 9 and 18 is 27, 27 and 21, 48. So now we know the total number of balls in each bag. Yeah. And the breakup between red, yellow and green balls. Let's let's answer the questions now. Uh, the first one here, the first question says one ball from each bag is drawn. Find the probability that all these are yellow balls. Simple question. One ball has to be drawn from each bag. What is the probability that all these are yellow balls? So basically you have to choose yellow balls across. Yeah, I'll, I'll just clear this rough calculation so that we have space to solve the question. See, it, it appears to be lengthy, but you have to note down a few points that one, that it is a three marks question. There are three questions or, or there could be five questions also. So it's worth the time you spend. And more importantly, you should realize that I am explaining it. So it is taking so much of time. When you do it yourself, you will get the answers much faster, right? Really quick. I mean, you just have to play with these numbers here. Equation there. So answer the first one now. So one ball is drawn from each bag. Find the probability that the yellow balls. So probability that we get a yellow ball from bag 1. What is it? 12 by 54. 
See, 12 C1 divided by 54 C1. Total number of balls is 54. Into probability that we get a yellow ball from back to. So, 15 C1 divided by 45 C1. Totals have already been calculated. Into probability that we get a yellow ball from back 3. So, from back 3 it is 18 C1 divided by uh, 48 C1. Simplify this. See, if one action can be done in M ways, the other action can be done in N ways, then both the actions together can be done in M into N ways. Yeah. So, if the yellow ball from back 1 can be chosen in 12 by 54 ways and from back 2 can be chosen in 15 by 45 ways, then both together can be done in 12 by 54 into 15 by 45 ways. Similarly, multiply the third action as well, right? If it is only one uh, set of actions, you have to do multiplication. So, if we want yellow ball from bag A and yellow ball from bag B and yellow ball from bag C. So, and always refers to multiplication, right? Or means addition. In case of permutations and combinations and probability, and refers to multiplication. When you are doing an all type of operation, you have to go for addition. Very important. You have to learn this by heart, right? And operation means multiplication, whether it is permutations and combinations or probability. Or type on operation means addition. Now simplify this. Simplify this to get the answer. I think 18 goes 3 times. Yeah. 12 here goes 4 times. 15 goes 3 times. Hmm? So 1 by 3 into 3, 9. 9 into 4, 36. So 1 by 36. 1 by 36, option 4 is the answer. 1 upon 36, option 4. All right. Option 4. Simple. Let's go to the next one. My only concern is in the next slide, I will get lose the data. So I'll have to remember the values. 15, 12, 27, 12, 15, 18. Yeah. 15, 12, 27, 12, 15, 18. This is a waste of our time, right? And 9, 18, 21. 9, 18, 21. Uh, I think the sequence is red, yellow, green, right? Yeah, red, yellow, green. Let me just quickly check this, right? 15, 12, 9, column wise, 12, 15, 18. 15, 12, 9, 12, 15, 18. Uh, 27, 18, 27, 27, 18, 21. Yeah, so totals, of course, are like 54. Uh, this is 27, 18, 45. And this is 48. Okay, look at the next question. P yellow balls are transferred from bag A to C. Okay, interesting now. P yellow balls, P yellow balls. Some yellow balls are transferred from bag A to bag C, which means from bag 1 to bag 3. Yeah. One ball is picked at random from bag C and the probability of this ball being yellow is 2 by 5. Find P. Oh, that's interesting. So what happens here after this transaction? What transaction? When you transfer P yellow balls from bag A to C. So, how many yellow balls will be remaining in bag A? 12 minus P. 12 minus P because P balls have been removed. And how many yellow balls will be there in bag uh, C? It will become P plus 18. Earlier there were 18 yellow balls. Now it is P plus 18 yellow balls because P balls have been removed from bag A and have been put in bag B. So, now this is a new total of bag uh, C. Right? 9 red balls, P plus 18 yellow balls and 21 green balls. So, what is the new total? 48 plus P. The new total is 48 plus P. 48 plus P. Earlier there were 48 balls. Now there are 48 plus P balls. Now one ball is picked at random from this bag now. One ball is picked up at random from bag C. How many balls bag C has got? 48 plus P balls. And the probability of this ball being yellow is 2 by 5. So let's let's just work on that, right? Out of P plus 18 yellow balls, you have to choose one ball. See, we want the ball to be yellow. So the only choice you have is P plus 18. So from P plus 18 balls, choose one ball, which can be done in P plus 18 ways. Divide by... From total number of balls, what is the total number of balls? 48 plus P. From that you have to choose one ball, 48 plus P. This is equal to 2 by 5. Solve for P, you are done. Looks to be complex, but very simple. Add P to the count of yellow and to the total count in back C. And then work on the probability. So the number of ways in which you can choose one yellow ball out of total number of yellow balls, divided by the number of ways in which you can choose one ball out of the total number of balls, is equal to 2 by 5. Now cross multiply. So 5p minus 2p, 5p minus 2p, 3p, 3p equals to 5p minus 2p, 3p equals to uh, 2 into 48, 96 minus 5 into 18, 90. So 3p is equal to 6, which means p is equal to 2. p is equal to 2. So the number of balls which have been transferred from bag A to bag C is 2. Two balls have been transferred, option 3. Yeah. I'll move to the next one, but again the same challenge. I'll have to copy the values here, I think. 
that's one thing which I'll have to fix in this presentation next time onwards yeah so that we don't waste our precious time so 15 12 27 12 15 18 quickly 15 12 27 I think 12 15 18 and the last set had 9 18 21 9 18 21 red yellow green hmm? 54 in bag one yeah this is 45 and 48 okay the next question five sixth of red balls and four ninth of green balls from bag b are placed in bag d oh now a new bag in picture bag b is this now there's a new bag bag d so what happens in bag d what is there in bag d the contents of bag D. What are the contents of bag D? 5 sixth of red balls from bag D. So 5 sixth of red and 4 ninth of green. So bag D has got red and green. Red and green pulse. So number of red balls is 5 sixth of 12. Sorry. 5 sixth of 12. What is 5 sixth of 12? 10. And number of green balls 4 ninth of 18. Huh? Yeah, 4 ninth of green balls from bag B. So 4 ninth of 18, which is 8. So basically number of red balls in bag D are 10 and number of green balls are 8. So we've got the contents of bag D. Now he says, what is the probability that 2 of 3 balls, 2 out of 3 balls from bag D are red? I see. So basically now we are choosing 2 balls. We are choosing 2 balls. I mean, we are actually choosing 3 balls. What is the total content of bag D? 10 plus 8, 18 balls. So out of 18 balls, we are supposed to choose 3 balls. And we want two out of these three balls to be red. So now the question completely changes, right? Forget about everything else. You have one bag which has got 10 red balls and eight green balls, total 18 balls. You are choosing three balls out of these 18 balls. What is the probability that two are red? Now, obviously when two are red, three will be green. You want two red and sorry, one will be green. Yes or no? So what is the probability that two are red and one is green? When you choose three balls, two are red and one is green. So out of 10, I should choose Two, so 10C2 into out of 8, I should choose 1 green, 8C1. Divide by out of total 18, I should choose 3, 18C3. Done. You want 2 red and 1 green. 2 red out of 10 red, 10C2 ways. 1 green out of 8 greens, 8C1 ways. And 3 out of total 18, 18C3. Work on this and you will get the answer. So 10C2 is like 10 into 9 by 2, right? Uh, 45 into 8C1 is 8, of course. And 18 C3 will be 18 into 17 into 16 divided by 3 into 2 into 1 is 6. So this goes 3 times. Yeah. So what do you know? What do you do now? 3 here goes 15 times. 8 goes 2 times. So I think we are left with 15 by 7 into 2, 34. 15 by 34. Is it then in the options? 15 by 34? Yes. I think 15 by 34 is the answer. 15 in the numerator, 7 times 2, 34 in the denominator. So when you choose 3 balls from this bag D, newly formed bag D, the probability that 2 of these 3 balls are red and obviously the other one is green is 15 by 34, which is option 2. 15 by 34.